I've not met a single soul yet on this planet who doesn't want to experience love. Love is such a driving force for so many uh, human experiences and, and it's something that so many people want. It's filled uh, the media and movies for generations because inside every human heart is a desire to, to give love and experience love. And so for this video, I want to share with you four top tips in order to experience much more love in your life. The first is to recognize that love exists within you. You're going to experience love within you. Therefore, within you is where you need to look. It's very common for people to be led to believe that in order to experience love, they have to get it from an external source. They need to get it from uh, that, their other half, their special someone, their soulmate, or through praise or prestige or some kind of external um, praise. It's not true. That's one of the biggest myths and it's one of the reasons why so many people miss the inner experience of love, which is really what to live in love really means, is to, to be in love, is to, is to be aware of the inner source of love. The second top tip is to recognize that love is unconditional and therefore it is beyond the mind because it's beyond reason, it's beyond justification. It is an experience that is not thought about, it's not part, you know, you're not thinking love, you're experiencing love. Does that make sense? So love by its definition has to be beyond the mind because it's beyond judgment, it's unconditional. And the mind doesn't understand unconditional. The mind makes sense of reality by putting everything into a box of, of having tick boxes and reasons and justification for why that's lovable and why that's not deemed lovable. When you start to see that love is unconditional, then you start to see that in order for me to experience love, I need to get beyond the mind back into the present moment. Why? Because number tip number three is that love is only ever experienced now. Love is only ever experienced now. So not only is love within you and it's unconditional, but the only moment in time that you can ever experience it is right here, right now. And what that means is in order to experience more love, you need to learn how to be much more present. Now, one of the biggest things I've learned through countless hours of meditation is the simple reality that there's no such thing as a present moment thought. That's right, there's no such thing as a present moment thought. All our thoughts are about the past and future. And because the mind can only really think about life, think about love, it's always going to keep you one step removed from it. It's going to find reasons as to why you can't experience love right now. It might be because you've not met someone or the person you met is not quite right or, or whatever. But if you're thinking it, trying to find love through thinking, then you're going to be one step removed from the experience of love, which is only ever experienceable, if that's even a word, now. You can only experience love now. So it's really important to not only recognize that number one, love is inside you, whether you believe it or not, whether you're feeling it right now or not. The only reason you're not experiencing it is because you're not uh, present enough to experience it and there's a high chance that you're in your mind uh, in, in maybe judgments, conditions, reasons and there's some, a little list of requirements that you may have picked up along the way that says I can't fully love myself or I can't fully love life right now or I can't fully love the other people in my life right now until, until X, Y, or Z. These certain ticks are ticked and I can deem them lovable. Now, not, we're not going to intentionally do that, but that's really what's happening behind the scenes. So if you want to experience more love, you'd be willing to tear up your rule book of requirements of what uh, is required for yourself and other people and life to be deemed lovable. And you'd be willing to return to much more innocent, praise and full and, and more grateful uh, perspective on life. Now, the way, one way to do that is to become more present and consciously aware and start to be less of a human doing and be much more of a human being. What you discover when you let go of all the doing and all the lists and all the having to achieve X, Y, and Z before you can experience love, when you start to rest back into the present moment, you start to rest back into the presence of your own being. 
And when you experience the presence of your own being, you're going to discover that the fragrance of that presence, the, the intimate experience of what it's like to rest into your being, is, is like resting into a fully loving embrace, uh, a, a divine embrace of, of love. The, the, the presence of your being is love. And so we can run around trying to fix, change, improve, manage, manipulate, control, and make life how we think it needs to be, so eventually we can experience love, when all that's ultimately required, hand on heart, I mean this, the only thing that's required is for you to learn how to rest back into the present moment, rest back into your real self, the permanent aspect of yourself, this inner presence of being that lives within you right now. When you rest back into that being, you're going to discover that that the fragrance and experience of your being is love. So I invite you to see and play with these four top tips the, the, to, to recognize that, you know what, love is inside me. I, I don't need to look anywhere else to find it. That love is unconditional. Therefore, I can't wait for my mind to tell me when something's lovable and, and good enough to be loved because ultimately that's still a judgment and I need to be learning how to let go of my mind and becoming much more present. Why? Because number three, love is only ever experienced right here, right now. So you don't want to think about love, you want to experience it. And the key to doing that is to learn how to rest back into the presence of your own being by being more consciously aware um, in, in daily life of yourself. And by doing this, I promise you, you're going to discover and, and experience the ultimate love affair in life, which is oneness with yourself.